All right, I've recently put a bunch of Python game theory code um, up on uh, GitHub. So here's a quick video showing one other piece of code that allows you to study uh, emergent behavior in normal phone games um, using an agent-based uh, modeling approach. So uh, here's a prisoner's dilemma. Um, assume you're trying to maximize your, uh, your utility. And the social optimal is when both uh, players would cooperate, they'd get a four. Um, however, if uh, as soon as one of us is, uh, if, if, if I'm a role player and I'm, uh, I'm cooperating, it's in your interest as a column player to defect, and then it's in my interest to defect, and so that's, that's an Nash equilibria uh, there. Now there's lots of resources to, to study those types of games, uh, theoretically, analytically, but I want to show one particular way which allows us to use, uh, use simulation. So here's the basic algorithm. Um, and there's a great book that I'll, I'll put in the, the description of this video uh, that explains explains this. And uh, you create your agents, so row agent col and column agents, so that way your games don't have to be of the same size. You can have uh, different strategies for your rows and your columns, um, players. And now, for every generation, um, you play a certain um, amount of rounds. And by those rounds, we mean that we randomly match a row agent against a column agent. We update the, the utilities, and the utilities are dictated by um, the strategies that are corresponding to the row agents and the column agents. Each row agent and column agent corresponds to a row and a column strategy. So you play basically a round of these tournaments. Once those tournaments are done, you remove, remove the weak agents and you reproduce the strong agents. And it's very important to allow mutation. So um, whilst the, a strong agent might be an agent who in our previous, in the, game, in the prison's dilemma is a defector, there's a probability that he'll actually mutate and, and, and be a, a cooperator. So now I'll just demonstrate um, a little bit of code that I've written that allows us to play with this. Okay, so here's Python on my computer. So first things first, we're gonna import the ABM library that I've created. Um, we're gonna build up some, uh, some input parameters, so number of agents. We're gonna play around with a thousand agents. Um, the number of generations, we're just gonna simulate to uh, to 50 generations. Um, the rounds per generation is going to be uh, 5. Um, the death rate is going to be 0.1 and then the mutation mutation rate is going to be 0.2. Uh, so first things first, let's simulate um, a prisoner's dilemma. So uh, we'll use the same um, same payoff matrix I just described, so 5, 2, and a column matrix is very similar, so 4, 5, and um, 0, 2. And then the, we now create an instance of uh, an ABM model. Um, it's a fair bit of code, but it just takes up the, uh, the inputs that we had previously. And we run that, and then to actually simulate, we just use the simulate method. So g dot simulate. And as you see there, um, the emergent behavior is um, appearing very, very uh, quickly. This is a game that converges very quickly. If I if I scroll up, we see that when this was created, they were more or less uh, half and half. The, the game automatically picks the strategies to be half and half. You don't give it a uh, initial distribution. And then, as things have happened, uh, the agents seem to be all of the second persuasion. In other words, they were all defecting, which is what we expect. Um, if you have matplotlib on your machine, you can use the plot equals true method. And if you simulate that, it appears exactly the same here. What's actually happening is, um, is that it's being dynamically uh, plotted. I didn't reset uh, G, that was a mistake. I didn't reset G, so it just started off with the population we had at the end. Um, but I'll, I'll do another example now where we'll see something a bit more interesting come up. So let's uh, let's create a, a new game. So row matrix equals 3-3. Uh, three, three. Uh, and then the column matrix equals 3, 2, 2, 6, 
and three, one. Um, and so now if I uh, recreate the instance G, and if we now simulate with plot equals true, we see that it started off with uh, the player uh, one strategies. So there's three rows in those matrices, or matrices all being uniformly distributed more or less, and uh, the column strategies being there. And then it does seem like some sort of behavior is uh, is emerging, um, but it looks like we don't quite have enough uh, enough generations to convince ourselves as to what is happening. Um, so that's the package. It's 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 quite simple, um, and it's a nice way of well looking at what's happening in a game. Um, and you can also give it initial strategy distributions as well, and it'll it'll play around with those. So I'll put links to all the information um, in the description.